What's up? It's your girl Angelica Marie, and we're back with another episode of Ain't No Filter. And this episode is special. It's something we've never done before. It is game nights. It is game edition. And this time we are playing a game called Spill It. Um, Spill It is a card game. Come on, Taylor. Show us. Show us the card game, girl. Okay. <laughs> Spill It was founded by three black women that attended Hampton University. You know, HU. You know. You know, shout out to the HBCUs, it's Clark Lane University in here. And basically, we're gonna be playing it. But before I tell everybody the rules of how you play, I'm gonna introduce my folks that we got in the building tonight. So, um, let's start it off. Who wanna go first? Who wanna introduce that? Introduce yourself, Ryder, Ryder. Introduce yourself. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Jamila, Angelica's friend. We went to Clark Lane together. And I'm happy to be on her show today and to play this game that I know nothing about. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Taylor. Y'all remember me from another episode, Taylor Ashley. Oh, yeah. Hey, what up, it's, it's Al. Uh, I'm from Dirty Jersey. I'm just happy, happy to be here with uh, Ange on our podcast. Dirty Jersey. <laughs> when did they start? When did they start calling places Dirty Jersey? Um, so well, okay, so spill it. If you if you've been listening to Saint No Filter, you know we talk our we talk our trash here. You know what I'm saying? We get a little raspy, but spill it. They talk they trash too. And I also want to, I'm going to tell y'all the, the rules, you know, for those who are listening, for those who are watching, I'm going to tell y'all the rules. So this is the rules. You're supposed to get your wine. Everybody got their glasses of wine. You already drank all your wine. Okay. <laughs> um, so, so basically what you'll do is, it's different levels. It's like a yellow, yellow, a blue, yellow level, and then like a purple level. Set your energy, place your own risk. We talk some trash, it's unfiltered. Everybody in the room has to basically answer the questions that are asked of them. And it gets very spicy. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Uh, I guess I gotta be ready. <laughs> yeah, let's get it. All right, who wants to go first? I'll, you know what, I, I, I'll go first. I, I'll go first. And also I wanna say shout outs to Brandy, Alexis, and Christian. Those are the three women who found it. Um, spill it. And yes. Um, so I'ma, you know, I'ma I'm gonna I'm get it, I'ma get it cracking. We gonna we're gonna get it cracking. Mm, nah, this is this is too soon. I'm not I'm, Okay and Joe, cause you you going through every car and you just like to pick one. <laughs> I don't know we had a choice. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, fine. <clears throat> Alright, so my card is Young, wild, and free. What's the kinkiest thing you've ever done or would like to do? Oh, we starting off like this. Oh, 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 I can oh, only what? imagine what the other one said. If you said that one, we starting off this way. The kinkiest. Okay. Oh, only Angelica has to answer this. That's not the rules. Yeah, that's not the everybody rules. Everybody has to answer. Oh, the everybody answer. Oh, sh. <laughs> Can you curse up here? Yes, you could cuss. This is family. Well, this is clearly not family friendly. Well, it's, <laughs> it's, it's for the it's for the grown ups. So put the kids to bed. <laughs> okay. Well, you starting it off, so. Okay. Well, y'all wild and free. What's the kinkiest thing you ever done or would like to do? Okay. So the kinkiest thing I would like to do, cause I don't be doing nothing. I'll be chilling. Um. So the kinkiest thing, honestly, I want to have sex on the freeway. Yes. Adventurous. I would like to have sex on the freeway. Is that not like on the freeway, like, like in your car? Yeah, I no. I'm really confused. Hey, wait, how you plan on doing this? So I want to like, I don't know, like, shit. I mean, hey, you don't want to be driving. You want to be parked on the side of the freeway? No, no, no. I want him to be driving, and I want to. I want oh, to be on the freeway. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, that sounds about better. So you driving, and we got follow up questions too okay. on the freeway. <laughs> Okay. So enough of me, but what's what's y'all's? I got to think about how much of my business I want to put out today. It's this ain't no filter. We <laughs> we knew we were talking business. I don't know what we were Let me go. Man. Let me go. <laughs> All right, Fredo. All right. So I would think probably the kinkiest thing I would want to do would be to have a one night stand threesome. That's okay. gonna be pretty PG. Yeah, that's that's pretty basic. That's, that's kind of that's, yeah, that's basic. We need something extravagant. Damn. Oh, y'all gotta come back to me then. All right. Yeah, I haven't thought of anything that's kinky. Like I gotta think about. I mean, I've 
I think I've done enough. Um, oh, what have you done? What's the key to stuff you done? No, 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 not like that. But I can't think of something that's just like wild. Oh, I I just know for what. <laughs> what? You cannot answer for other people. You know the kinkiest thing I've done? Well, I don't know if it's the kinkiest thing, but I know it was kind of kinky. I kind of want to put it on my list. Oh, child, you got to whisper to me and tell me what I did. <laughs> then I done told you. No, I mean, ain't no feel to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 you got to give her some hints. What some light doing? hints so she can pick uh, up on what it was. No, go ahead and say it. I don't care. Balcony. Girl, no, that's... Because, oh, that that see, I was going to say that as... I was going to say that's going to be, like, the kinkiest because... Where I did it on the balcony is not ideal for me. So I need another location. Like somewhere out of the country if I'm going to do that again. Because it's not off my list yet. It, it wasn't enough. Oh, because so. the partner wasn't enough? Or no, the, the scenery okay. wasn't enough oh. for me. Oh. Yeah. So I guess that could be my the <laughs> kinkies because I mean, that's still on my list. I haven't thought that far. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, I would probably say bondage. You 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 done that? Or That's probably like the kinkiest thing like I want to do. Oh, I was gonna say she. <laughs> How hardcore bondage though? Like, are we just talking about? I'm not, I'm not answering follow up questions. Oh man. <laughs> I mean, not like I don't know like. Like I'm talking about leather suit. You talk about leather suit types. I'm talking about like tied up. That's not that's really, regular. that's that's basic low key. I, I mean, I understand that's your kinkiest. That's not, I'm not saying it's basic, but that's like. I think tied up. You ain't never been like, I ain't saying tied up, but like. I mean, down, I mean like, like tied, tied. Oh, you really won't be. I mean like tied. You, want, you don't want to have no control. I don't mean like, you hold him. Okay. You want no, to say like, No, I'm saying like, you don't want to be. You you want him to have full control pretty much. Yeah. Like oh, okay, your, good. Like your arms and legs is tied. Yeah. Okay, oh, see, no, I ain't messing with the legs. So tied. a safe word would be needed. <laughs> yeah. Orange. Orange. <laughs> Orange what? That's the safe word. Yeah, yeah. I'm really thinking like this is gonna be out for the public. Shall <laughs> you 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 have answers filled it? All right, who's going next? Who's going next? Let's let's get off of my car. Let's who's next? Ooh, Man, I don't, think a, I, I don't think a one-night stand threesome is, is too PG, bro. All right, like, bro. We, we, we're all Actually, right. it's not too PG. It's car. not too PG. We're not, we not commenting on people's answers like yeah. that. It was good. <laughs> no, it's it's all good. you how you feel. Right. right. I mean, I said sex on the freeway. I think half of the people probably already did that one before. I feel like it's so many different things you can do. Everybody has been a little bit of something. Yeah. Different. You know, it's like. Something a little bit. It's, it's a lot of stuff you can do. Mm-hmm. All right. Pull a card, Jamila. Okay, my card says, oh, okay, I got a good one. It says, are celebrities obligated to use their platform to speak about controversial issues, i.e. social justice, animal rights, criminal reform, etc." Speak your truth. I love oh, this question. Damn. I love this question, but I'm gonna let the ladies go first. Oh, okay, that's fresh. It's Taylor, you can go first. Or Jamila, you wanna answer your question first? Yes. I'll answer it first, yeah. I don't think anybody is really obligated to do anything and I don't rely on celebrities to give me insight on controversial issues such as social justice, animal rights, and criminal reform. I want a celebrity to speak on that topic if they're knowledgeable and they have the information to speak because since they have such a large platform, they need to make sure what they're saying actually is true and it makes sense and they're just not using their platform to just give opinions as if they're facts. So that's what I would say about that. I definitely agree. I don't feel like you have to do anything you don't want to do. I feel like I would put myself in a celebrity's shoes and if I feel like I don't want to talk about politics or anything like that, I'm not going to talk about it. That doesn't mean I'm not talking about it behind closed doors. That doesn't mean I'm not talking about it with my friends, family, and all of that. Why do I have to put it on social media? You get what I'm saying? Yeah, and kind of to piggyback off that, people think they should have access to celebrities all the time. Like they're just like you're a celebrity, you have to tell me this, you have to talk about this. Like they're people too, and they don't have to put all their business out if they don't want to, or speak on stuff if they don't want to. I would definitely agree with all of y'all. Um, I would say that, I mean, I feel like this, if you got a large platform, it's hard because you black and it's like black people, we just don't have so much stuff. So like, it's like you have to 
kind of like speak up in a sense it's like you feel obligated but reality is i agree with everything y'all saying like sometimes people don't need to talk about it because they're not knowledgeable sometimes you shouldn't have to feel forced to talk about something either but i mean i think it's great that celebrities or people who are public figures or notable do like you know chime in and say you know what's up because you got a large platform and we know you can reach more people than shit some of us over here you know what i'm saying like yeah, see, I can make a point before. I honestly thought it was gonna be kind of mixed between y'all, but um, we all know what I'm saying. I did. I ain't gonna lie, I did. But um, I do, I do agree that like you know they didn't sign up to you know to be social justice warriors or anything like that. They just signed up to play a sport or whatever. Um, the uh, the only other thing to it though is that uh, being in a, a part of the black community is like there are are only voices that kind of like matter to like the public. So no, they don't have to do it, and I'm not mad at them if they don't. But you do kind of want them to at least say something because, like, if they're not saying anything, then you know we don't have like MLKs of these days or like Malcolm X's. So it's like they're kind of our voices to the public. So. What we do have MLKs and Malcolm but not, X's. Not, but they don't get the. What I mean by so let me clarify. So like, what I mean is they don't get. We don't. The the players are the most highlighted, in the the artists. Like uh, rappers, singers, and uh, our athletes are the most highlighted people in the black community as far as what our voice says to the media and what is like spread out to the world. I, I see where you're coming from, but I feel like you have to sit and self-reflect on who you think is your voice and who you think is the voice of the community because when it comes to certain things, I'm not looking to hear what celebrities have to say. I'm like, I'm looking to see what activists, people actually out here doing the real work, what they have to say about it. Like, if a celebrity isn't doing anything and I don't know about it, it's like, I'm not trying to hear their voice. I'm not making their voice heard to me. I'm listening to the people who actually are about it. And then, you know, like, sometimes these celebrities, they don't know nothing about the topic. They don't know nothing that's going on. They just posted just because for show. They want a pat on the back. So I'm gonna let you post that and I'm actually gonna like believe what you got to say. No, I'm not doing it. And y'all are definitely right. When you talk about like there are more educated people than them, I do agree with that. The only thing I'm saying is like to the masses and masses of people, they have the most, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. their voice gets heard the most out of everyone. Yeah. So that's the only reason why I kind of said that. But I do agree with y'all, like there are more educated people and when you do want to, um, you know, when you want information on certain things, you're not going to go, you know, to an athlete to ask them because they got a bunch of other stuff going on. You're going to do your research. You're going to um, see a lot of other people coming up on YouTube or however you look. But that's one reason I said that about the, um, the athletes because, like, you know, their voices are about the masses. So. No, I agree. And the reason why I was laughing, I kept thinking of that, of that meme and they was like, let's go to... The reason why I was laughing was I kept thinking about that meme. <laughs> Yo, we recorded live, so I turned off my mic. Okay. So, um, I keep thinking about the meme where Ja Rule was like, when it was like, hey, let's go to Ja Rule and see how he feels about the topic. Ja Rule? Yes, I saw that. And everybody was like, what? Like, And that's another thing. Like, We don't want other people thinking that this is how we think. Having somebody like Ja Rule or another celebrity who doesn't know anything up on the news or on CNN, Fox speaking on a topic, and then everybody's thinking they're representing representing our community and what we think but it's like they want you somebody who actually knows because of course that is intentional but you know i'm gonna leave it there that is intentional all right let's let's, let's put a question let's let's pull next card is on you i just you just take just, it off uh, the top pull on top yeah all right what we got it says name your top three non-negotiables and a partner oh, oh this is a good one oh, all kind of smack this <laughs> <laughs> You gotta answer first. Oh, um, you could have put me on the spot. Um, uh, I would say, well, can y'all, do does anyone know? Yeah, don't, don't, don't rush, make sure you say it yeah. first. <laughs> you said three non negotiable things. Yeah, but you know, like what, three things you can't put up with. with questions like this, I think about it like non negotiable. Some stuff is just basic. Having a job is not a non-negotiable. That's a basic thing. <laughs> like that's just to even get in the game. Yeah, yeah. but so you know, I mean. So that that would be a part of it. Then. See, that's why when I'm thinking about non-negotiable, I'm thinking about some real shit. Not a job, a car, an apartment. To me, that's the standard. Even to even yeah, come I'm, in the race. And I'm with you. I on think it's levels to this. It definitely is levels to this. Because <laughs> like. 
feel like maybe, you know, if we think of one, we can just say one and then, you know, keep thinking as it comes. Like, you don't have to have all I your think non negotiable. I don't. Because I've been thinking, like, maybe if somebody had, like, a different religion I didn't agree with, I'm no. not about to do that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to raise my children a certain way. And so if they on some other stuff, like, I just don't believe in, I'm not about to do it. Yeah, because I thought this one guy, he was an atheist. He was cute, though. But Wait I, a minute. I, 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 Wait I, can't, a minute. I can't do atheists. I'm sorry. You talk to the atheists? I ain't talk to him. <laughs> talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> what? I didn't talk to him, talk to him, but I knew enough that he was an atheist. Like, we talked, and I was like, damn, you kind of cute. You got the hype, but he was an atheist. It's not going to work. <laughs> I would say one of my top three is uh, controlling. Like, so much to control. Okay. okay. I actually want to look at my phone because I feel like I got something in my notes. Okay, about this. bro. <laughs> look, look at your phone. Um, my phone over there. Can I get it? Okay. Why well, are you going to get it? No, your... I'm, I'm not going to get it. I'm, I'm going to stay here and I'm going to think off the top. Girl, don't act like you don't have that. I do. I definitely have just do the top one that you think is just like you but just it's can't three. do. You only said one. It's three. Then, yeah, you said though if it's one, we can just do yeah. one. So I don't know. That's I hard think, for me too. I, I ain't gonna lie. So many well, in my what head. I want to say about yours. Go ahead, tell me what one of mine is. Under five eight. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> mine too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's that's, that's another yo, thing. That's like, non-negotiable for her. As well. It's definitely on yeah, the it's list. Something. It's not the top three, but it's on the list. Another thing is like you can't be rough. Like you have to have like a gentleness when you're dealing with me. Like I already you already not about to yell at me. You already ain't about to call me on my name. That's just coming with it. But like you're not about to talk to me crazy. That's like, respect. That's and it's and you can't yeah, that's normal but, sense. Yeah, that's but so I'm supposed to be the basics. But you know how some people just Rough, rough. They talk rough. the way they talk is just like New York. Yes, yeah, so I don't want to talk about areas, but you know how certain some guys just talk with them with their girl, and it's like that might be cool for them, but for me, it's like, oh my god, could never talk to me like yeah. that. Oh, like, yo, that's my bitch. You need like that's my lady, or that's or just my... being like like disregarding, like you need to be pressed on me, period, twenty four seven. Pressed, so yes, well, yes, that's yes. why I'm a little obsessed. I don't like yes. that. You ain't gotta be obsessed. That gives me cuckoo. You ain't gotta be obsessed, but like, you ain't gotta be obsessed. But I feel like when you really in love with somebody, y'all are a little bit obsessed with each other. I feel like, and not on no crazy. Like I'm not going through, not going through phones. I just mean like, you're needy. (laughs) I'm not needy. I'm not needy. Yeah, I need my space. I I need. need, Oh, I definitely need my space. I'm not needy, but. You need impressed. pressed. When I say I'm pressed, <laughs> pressed like maybe I shouldn't use the word pressed. No, you said it. You, no, you said should've. a little bit obsessed. Yeah. Not when you're in love. love. I did say all those things. And that's what you meant. And I did mean it the way I'm thinking about it in my head with the way it's coming across. And all I can see is Beyonce <laughs> fighting that woman, child. That little white woman in the movie now. Mm. We, but you know, uh, Taylor, you up. You up, girl. You up. Feel it. You didn't answer the question. Oh, <laughs> I didn't answer the question. No, yeah, haven't. and it's three people on. I only I heard one. That's all we get. Uh, non-negotiables. <laughs> I really don't know. Like that's probably my issue. That's probably my issue. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you want. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's that's it. I, I guess I finally when niggas ask me why am I single, I don't know what the fuck I want. Um, like other than like physical stuff, non-negotiables. Like you have to be. Oh, you gotta know how to give me my space. I don't want to talk to you every day. I do not want to see you every day. Do not text me every day. Ooh. Do not call me every day. You don't even want to like a check in. I like a little check in. 
That's I don't like <laughs> to be talked to every day either. But don't talk to me all day. Like I, I feel you. I'm like, don't text me all day. Like if you want to talk, call me, FaceTime me. Let's meet up. Like I don't want to text all day. No. No, she mean don't talk to her at all. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no contact that day. Yo, my one of my homies said that a couple months back, and I ain't get it. Man. I still don't get it. Why? Oh wait, how old is he? She said, "Oh, this is one." She goofy. Um, I don't get that like at all. Like not even a call at the end of the day. Like I don't want to text all day either, but I would think you at least FaceTime for at least ten minutes. At night. That's why I said check in. <laughs> No, no, I, like, I, I need a date. No, you, you don't have to say nothing to me because I, I feel the same way. I still feel the same way I feel about you yesterday. So it's okay. You good. You're in a good space. Just relax and give me a date. And then I'll hit you back up tomorrow. I need a 10 minute face time at night. You need it. I need it. And this kind of goes to my press thing. Not necessarily press, but it's like, you want so you want somebody that needs 10 minutes of face time you every day. They don't need to need 10 minutes, but I feel like if you're nah, in a relationship with somebody, need <laughs> he need, it's like every day. Guys, take time. Yeah, y'all gonna talk yes. a little bit. No, I think okay, okay. I'm thinking of talking stage. Like no, I'm not talking relationship. Talking. When you get in a relationship, I just need a check in. I'm thinking of talking stage. No, I'm thinking relationship. When you get in a relationship. I just need a check-in. Like, are you are you alive? Yeah. That's it. You see me post on my story on Instagram. You watched it. You know I'm alive. See, that's kind of rude. But I feel like some stuff depends on the person because, like, I used to be like, I don't really want to talk every day. But if it's a guy and I like him and I really like him now, I'm like, hold on now. We need to talk. Yeah, like, I ain't gonna we, we need to talk. Like, okay, so yeah, I might, I might have to just... talk, but we, we need to talk. All right, I'll double back on my answer when I fall in love. We'll check in. <laughs> okay, let me put When I fall in love, I'll let y'all know. Oh, and another thing is they need to be adventurous, like willing to do stuff, try stuff, go places. Like, okay, not like nobody that. that's like, only want to do the normal stuff like going out like going yeah. to eat going to the bar like i want to do some different stuff like let's go Sky make candles diving. let's go hiking shooting. like let's high air balloon do some random spontaneous stuff out the blue like you can't be boring right i can get with that okay new card or overly masculine spill it if you could trade places with anyone for 24 hours dead or alive at any time period who would it be what Trade places with somebody for 24 hours and they could be alive or dead. Ooh, I don't, I don't trade no spots with people. <laughs> I, 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 I want to correct something I just said. When I say overly masculine, I mean men who let their masculinity prevent them from doing things because they're like, oh, that's not manly, that's not manly. That's somebody I, who's not confident in their sexuality. Though. And I just want oh, yeah. to clarify what I meant by that. But um, there's nobody worrying about these. <laughs> <laughs> Like it's always gonna be a cry baby out there crying Thanks. about one statement you said. Nobody care about that. Anywho, um, trading places with somebody. Um, who would it be? I would probably say. You know what? Let me come back because I got a couple people in my head. Man, I can't think of one person. I just know it had to be some type of famous person. Uh, I would say more so like a, a musician, man. So like, but the thing about all the all the great musicians that I like come to mind, they all went through some crazy turmoil. They was on drugs. You get what I'm saying? But it's just so it's 25 like, minutes, right? 24, 24 hours. hours. 25 minutes. What you gonna get for 25 minutes? So, um, I don't know. I think they could take one day off the drugs. Like, one day, right? <laughs> the day you do. But the you day. never know, like, when, if you, if you in a, it dep I guess it depends how specific the question is, because, like, if you in a body, you probably got to take some coke. I don't think, <laughs> you, if you, if you, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're addicted to coke, then, yeah. like, you probably need to hit at least once a day. I don't, I, I don't want to see what coke feels like when, when you're off it, so. I don't know. But no, it was just, I'm sorry. It was just, you <laughs> gave, gave me the <laughs> you <laughs> you know, think about it. I watch too many movies. Yeah, nah, it would, I don't know. It would just be somebody like uh, a musician, man. I don't know. From the 80s or something. I think that's when it was the most craziest. So, I don't know. Shit, I'm, I'm doing motherfucking Oprah. I'm robbing her. <laughs> I'm taking everything out the bank account. I'm emptying that shit. I'm emptying it like. I don't know if that's really how it goes. Yeah, that's <laughs> not how it goes. Damn. She gonna go in there 24 hours. <laughs> She, right. she got to transfer all the money. You gonna transfer all the money to Angelica Marie Joy, and she not gonna. <laughs> I mean, shoot, I was Oprah. I thought I, I was donating.
thing to a struggling creative? I'm not sure who, but my first thought would be like to go back to the 90s just because the time seemed a little bit more freer, fun, and you know, it wasn't a lot, of, well, it wasn't any social media, so it was just like a different time. So I think I would go back to like the 90s just to like party, oh, turn to, you know, talk. so you'd be like kid and play. Salt and pepper, TLC. Yeah, yeah, I say probably like TLC or like Mary J. Blige. Like, the shoes on that green like, You know what's funny? That type of vibe. My answer was gonna be something like that because I was just gonna trade places with like my mama real quick, <laughs> just to see how it was back then. Back then when she was younger, because you know she liked to say things, and I just wanted to see what she be talking about. But she just assumed that it was just lovely. Nothing was going on. You know, not back in my day, they didn't do that. Okay, I want, I want to see. You know what? That's a good thing. Too. <laughs> you know, I kind of want to see what my mama was doing too. Yeah. She was like, yeah. Um, I was recently talking to her. We were talking about Cascade here in Atlanta. How we need to go there the next time she comes here. And she was like, "Girl, you know, I was the best roller skater they back love then. Today. Um, we used to travel to um, Chicago to skate. I'm like, no. oh, she a JB skater. She like, oh yeah, well, I was the best female skater out there. Me and my friend Mary we used to go to Chicago. I'm like, okay, mama. We gonna see how your knees are. Like today. I just, <laughs> I just would love to go back and see, like, like girl. Okay, but yeah, that would be my answer. Y'all, everybody answer. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Dang, I was gonna say my mom in the nineties. She already had a kid. My mama did too, but I still feel like she was out there. Yeah. Clearly, I was born in ninety five. Yeah, I'm done. We was all born in the nineties. <laughs> done. <laughs> all right, y'all. Next question, y'all. Okay, it's on me. Yes, yeah, on you. All right. Oh, no, right. the rules. Oh, shit. Okay. <clears throat> Homie hopping, should you disclose any friends that you have history with to your partner? Partner, if so, when? Bring that again. Bring that again. So, me homie again. hopping. Should you disclose any friends that you have history with to your partner? If so, when? So, whoever you significant, uh, whoever you fucking, do you tell them that you used to mess with their friend? Yeah. Oof. It depends. How close are they? <laughs> yeah, how close are they? Because in a, cause in a lot of instances, it's like I would think you would already know. Right. If they real close, then they already know. If you don't know, they ain't that close, then it don't matter. It but, sure don't. But what if it's a childhood friend, like, you still close, but, you know, you don't see each other on the regular, so... He like, wouldn't know that. the same city in the same wouldn't state. Wouldn't he know that, though? Because if we... If we're to that point, then it's like, your friend should know who I am, and your friend should have told you. Right. But the thing <laughs> is, I've actually talked to brothers twice, and I didn't know until after. Ooh, child, you risky. <laughs> it was an accident. Brothers. I didn't know. You know, people... One, they had different mamas. No, they had different daddies. They had a different something. <laughs> but I found out later. And then the I other mean, ones, I think they had the same mom and daddy, but they're going to be okay. I think you should just, from day one type stuff, if a dude hitting you up, uh, y'all should just tell him what it is. Like, But yeah, what are you doing? doing? Are you right. telling I'm not doing all that. I mean, I would, why why not are you answering so? it for us? What would like, you, you want to know what, oh, you, what would you do? Um, you ain't telling. I would do the same thing. I would. So have you? One. So have you talked to any any girls that you talked to? Have you talked to one of their friends? Yeah. And you told them. Yeah. So and what happened? No. See, 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 Nineteen, like I was out here doing dumb shit, but he said like he forty, not, right? I'm, I'm right. 20, yeah, I've done a right. lot of growing. That's like twenty. That's like ten years. I've done a lot of growing in ten years. It's so as to this, to this day, if I met a chick and I know I talked <laughs> to one of her grown. friends or someone she associated with, I would tell her from the rip. Like if I if I was interested in her, I would get her number, and I would probably you know, I do like you saying get to know her a little bit. I would tell her what it was. Like hey, I didn't, was texting this or we didn't did that. Just like you know, I don't know how you feel about it, but I'm just throwing it out there. I feel like my friend owes me more loyalty than the guy that I'm talking to, so I would expect my friend to tell me, if that makes sense. You get what I'm saying? 100%. Yeah, but at the saying. same time, how close are they? Because <laughs> if they're not that close, because guys be saying they cool with people and don't really be that cool. Yeah. Don't even shake up with everybody. Don't even, yeah. don't don't even people up. 
that's just some dude y'all hooped a couple times talking about that's the homie y'all be dapping up and stuff yeah that's why that's what i mean it's all about how close y'all are because i've talked to people that were supposed to be friends and what i did was i asked i said so um how cool are you with such and such he gave me the answer and i proceeded <laughs> yeah, I mean, as long as y'all as, as long as y'all not in the immediate circle, then it should be cool. Like yeah. should, well, he, I mean, they he should be tripping off. He, he should be tripping off nothing. Like as long as it ain't his his close group uh, group near the homies, if it ain't one of them, then it should be like smooth. I don't know. The older I get, I'm looking at life like you know you might miss out on your blessing. You know, passing up. But then again, yeah. I'm pretty sure none of my friends would date the kind of none of the guys. No man pay him. No <laughs> man. <laughs> Can I get the word? <laughs> They're not gonna date none of the guys that I talk to because one, I don't know why I talk to half of the dudes I talk to. Child, blind. I blame it on the glasses. Yeah, I agree. I feel like if y'all was in an immediate circle, like if I was dating a guy and I dated his friend, it's like if they was close, he, I feel like he would already know. Yeah, they would know. Or it, or it would be common knowledge. Like yeah. it would have came. It would be talked about at a cookout. So yeah, would y'all, y'all need to disclose if someone would like say. You was kind of texting a homie, and uh, but you wanted the other homie in the crew, but the guy approached you or he hit you up on Instagram or whatever. So you being just friendly or uh, you know whatever, you kind of <laughs> entertain it a little bit. But then like maybe a month later, um, the dude approached you, his his friend, the one that you. wrote you in the DM. No, 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 no the, the one, one that you really want. The one that you really want approach you. Don't miss your blessing. Don't miss your blessing because at the end of the day, y'all, you just was having a friendly conversation. You were just having a friendly conversation. Friendly conversation. So you, if there's no flirting or anything, it's just really like basic, like, yeah. hey, how are you? What you doing today? Y'all ain't really meeting up or anything. So y'all just literally talking. So, all right, what, what, just to take a one other level then, what if he asked to take you out and y'all went out one time and that was it though? That's fine. You yeah. would, you would still yeah. talk to the other, uh, yeah. the other dude, yeah. the one that you really want. Mm -hmm. And I, I got you. I feel like also you would know like are you feeling him like y'all went on one date like how you feel about him yeah like, I mean, really it, it, it was just you it was just cool he a cool person to that's talk it to. he just cool but you saying. really want his friend i feel like i would see what the friend's talking about first because so all right the thing what is, if you really didn't want his friend but his friend approached you and you thought he was attractive would you talk to him at that so you know what i'm saying the homie already done had to take you out, you out uh -huh. and y'all went out one time but it was like like i said it wasn't really nothing y'all were just cool uh -huh. but then one of his friends come and he kind of spin game and you like you but ain't want him at first but then when he talking to you like oh i'm, he talk, oh, he talk, I'm right. right you know what i'm saying then like well, that's you, a, it's the blessing. same answer but and it also would depend was he there when i met the first dude no he wasn't there oh i just met him Wait, how did I meet him? Did I meet yeah. him through being out with the dude I went on a date? No, 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 no. You just met him some random time. Yeah. So how does he yeah, know no. who I am? He just seen you. It, it just, you know what I'm saying? So it's no connection. He doesn't know me through this guy I went on a date. No, 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 you no, know no, that's no, no, like that. Yeah, like so no, that. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't know of that at other this man. Point, yeah, at this point, I don't, I don't even know y'all's sure connection. If I know it, I don't know it too. Yeah. It's blatantly said. What if you did know the connection? I know the connection. I'm just seeing what he's talking about. I went out with this guy one time. That's. That gives him no obligation or right for me to be like, I'm gotcha. not gonna talk to this other guy that I'm yeah. interested in. Gotcha, well. gotcha. That doesn't make any sense. And that's the gotcha. thing, like people don't think you got a claim on somebody. Just because you went on a date with somebody once, twice, that the don't dude mean. Dude is good for that, man. They yeah. say I talked to her. Yeah, and it's. But they ain't, they ain't never did nothing. You ain't talking to her. Yes. Yes. You ain't talking to her. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. 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 It's like, what's really going yeah, on? No. You know what it is? No. Come on, man. I don't do that. I'm sorry. I just know how dudes are. Y'all dudes be you. claiming quick. Like, they, they would. They would. Relax. They, they be wanting to claim. All right. Who pull the next shot? You just pulled the car? Yeah, I just pulled the car. Just pull. Okay, it's on me. It says, play this card to get out of one question asked by the group that you do not want to answer. So you get to keep it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Your turn. Uh oh. Oh, uh, when is it okay to go someone? And when is it not okay? <laughs> okay. I didn't know this is a good one. I didn't know what Taylor meant. Now you go. No, 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 you got the juiciest one. She's a queen of both. We ain't going. Oh, it look. says, when is it okay to go someone? Yeah. When you feel like it. And when is it? <laughs> wow. Wait, come on. All right, let me not. Let me stop playing. All right, All right um, I would say, because I'm not going to say I just wake up one morning and just be like, <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to talk to it. Well, sometimes I do. 
I might wake up and be like, nah, I ain't feeling him. I might have to block him. Or it's something somebody said to me. Or you did something to me for me to go shoot. You know what I'm saying? Like, it got to be a legit reason. But for me to wake up that next morning to think about that, something had to happen. And I've been thinking about it for a long time. And then I just really just said, I'm going to do it today. Today is the day, October 11th. <laughs> so, so when is it not cool? When is it not okay? Yeah. Um, if we up here spending too much time with each other uh-huh. and we're in the direction of building, quote unquote, or you tell me this, and then you just ghost me out of nowhere, or I ghost you, I, I wouldn't feel like that's okay. Like we go from talking every single day and then boom, just randomly, you just ghost. Like what's what's real going? Like what's really going on? What's the tea? Oh, um, <clears throat> my answer is simple. I don't really ghost. I get ghosted. <laughs> 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 um, yeah. Yes. I mean, I guess it's whatever. I mean, I guess I don't know. My feelings gonna be hurt because now, like, I love these niggas, but like, <laughs> you be trying to figure out why. What I yeah, deserve? Yeah, like, damn, my nigga, what did I say? Like. <laughs> But you know, well, I guess I was talking to you about one situation because I was working on myself. I'm like, I'm gonna be vulnerable with this nigga in the talking stages, and this nigga ghosted Isn't me. Is that who we talked about when we was at at my it, birthday breakfast? <laughs> yeah, oh. is this the most recent person? Shout out to that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna send you the link, okay? Yo. Oh man. Look, I don't you gotta see it as you. You you did good. Yeah. Now you know. Oh, I'm good. You would have got further with him and then realized, yeah. damn, this nigga trash. And, and don't make that stop then. you from doing that. You get what I'm saying? But it's that question, like, how vulnerable are you in the talking stage? I just need to let him know, like, you know, bro, I can't really kick it like that. I'm going through some stuff and get my shit together right now. I don't think he understood. I feel like you told him that and he didn't understand it. No. He didn't want to understand. He's he didn't fool. care. Yeah. It's okay. I that, seen him. That, I that, seen him though. He's a fool. And that's what I mean. Like you, you need to care. <laughs> like you have to be a little press. Like you need to really like care. Hundred percent. She goes back to the press. Like yeah, but when, that's just a part of what I mean. Like right. if you telling a guy something like that, and y'all are like dating, or y'all really trying to be in a relationship, or y'all trying to see you know more about each other, and you tell him something like that, and he's kind of just like brushes it off and don't really understand. He don't care enough. Mm-mm, nope. You need to you need to care a lot. You gotta man. get rid of him. ASAP. Right. Well shit, he that, ghosted me, he gone now. You don't let people ghost you. You ghost them. <laughs> How about that? Learn that. Taylor's playbook playbook to um ghost of these niggas will be out soon. Cause okay. you could have felt like his vibe of even after you told him that. And once mm-hmm. you give me a weird vibe like that, all right, I can't even talk with you. Yeah. I can't even mess with you like that. But I kinda um agree with what Taylor said. Like if you're talking to somebody all the time. You can't just ghost them. Mm-mm. That's disrespectful. Mm-hmm. Um, but at the same time, I'm not really a ghoster either. Like, well, what would if, if if what would someone have to do to make you ghost them? Oh, text me something inappropriate. Say something. Um, text. Or it gotta be a little more. Yeah, no, that's enough. No, that's definitely. Uh, 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 that's definitely. Not even if being. You like how much you like the dude? Though, let's be real. I still don't want it. Because if you really feeling the dude and he send you a dick pic. Are you really gonna ghost him just because he sent you a dick pic? Sir, I've seen it in person. I don't need a it's like don't don't send me a dick pic if we haven't had sex yet. Oh, that, that's oh that's gross. Yeah, like oh, we, that's need, we need to have oh. these have had sex if we send me a dick pic. So if you was feeling a homie, <laughs> and I'm talking about feeling him, but y'all ain't have sex and he sent you a dick pic because he felt that comfortable. But it's like what was the conversation? Feel that comfortable. Mm-hmm. If, if the well, conversation was along those lines. No, nah, not really that y'all asked for it. Y'all not that I me? asked for it, but it's like the conversation is that so way. So if y'all were talking about sex, mm-hmm. and he just randomly uh, sent you one, you'd be cool with it. If you was I, feeling him. I, I still don't want it, but I wouldn't ghost in that situation. Okay. If, if the conversation was already along those lines, I wouldn't ghost for that. Okay. But I would, would have a conversation. Like, yo, bro, but, chill out. Um, <laughs> If we aren't dating or anything, I just met you and you sending me sexual, so not even a dick pic, but you just talking like too sexual or you just, I'm not trying to say I'm an English teacher, but if you like. Well, the, I know she was doing my text messages. No, I don't you, but it's like some stuff people like, if you saying certain stuff, it's just like, I already know it's not going to work. Like, like here and here. No, not even that, but just. 
I, I should your verbiage, your language, how <laughs> like you be talking. It's just like certain, and I can't even say it's not even a specific thing. And it's not one thing, but it's like, and we having a conversation, just multiple things you're saying, just not lining up together. It's just like, mm, oh, a liar. No, not a liar. No, no, no she's so, about literally her his Like, how you, like yeah. your, how you spell a like, word. Like, oh. you <laughs> shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty much it's like stuff like that. Right, he need to call you. No, me. that will make me go shoot. <laughs> yeah, that right, that will yeah, make me go Yeah, that's an shoot. example. Stuff like if I gotta keep saying what? Yeah, what like I don't understand. Like, I think you gotta tell somebody. Like if if I think the only time it's cool to go someone if it's like too many red flags. So like on some stalker type stuff. Like, but we have to be adults too. That's another that's thing. That's, I, that's another true. reason why I don't really ghost people because it's like let's have a conversation that's what I mean. and so let's like, feel the vibe. If you if we go out or something after we go out and we don't really talk. It's like you you see the vibe that really wasn't a ghost. We mutually wasn't feeling yeah. each other, or mm-hmm. one of us wasn't feeling the other person. And it's like it just didn't work out, you know. But I feel like if 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 you go out with a dude and you ain't feeling it, right? Mm-hmm. But he it because to each his own. So you may have not been feeling it, but he like he didn't went back and told his homies, man. Like we don't want to hear him <laughs> talking about this. We talking about that. And then and then would you you feel me telling your girls like. Yeah, this nigga was boring. You but know I'm what not saying? gonna ghost him though. But that's what I'm saying. We so would like, have a conversation. You the vibe, the vibe. He won't see. Cause he gonna stay with you up the next day, like the morning, beautiful, I don't something know. like that. After you go out with somebody, you can easily tell the other person's feeling about you after y'all went out. Yeah, like, you if can. you was feeling somebody, it's like, oh, when we going out next? Yeah. You know, I really, I had a really good time. Like, test me, you make a home. Da, 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 Did y'all hug stuff. after? Yes, like what was the vibe after? But you would know if it wasn't good. CD. It's definitely the text after you could tell someone feeling you. <laughs> yeah. The text after. Yeah. And then it's the, also the next morning at first. Yeah. That, oh, yeah. If you get that text in the morning, yeah. if you get the text after your hangout, <laughs> and then you get the text in the morning, that's a ding 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 right yeah. there. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't feel like I have to explain myself every time I'm about to, I'm getting rid of you. I'm sorry because of the simple fact that should be hurting people's feelings though. You I think that so? goes. I know. Goes, <laughs> that should be hurting. I mean, I, I done got ghosted. I it, never, it hasn't happened a lot, but I've got ghosted before. And I'd be like, damn, she could have just told me. <laughs> <laughs> I've got ghosted before. Right. But once I get my mind right, like, and I start calculating stuff and start, uh, you know, mentally writing down cons, Not that's enough for me. <laughs> but it's like, I'm going to explain myself. I feel like I need to have a conversation with you, depending on how deep we've been talking. But after that first initial, like, I had a guy, I wasn't going to ghost him. But I had a guy like literally tell me like it wasn't like a couple days after, but he texted me and was like, "Oh, hey, um, I hope all is well." I think he felt my vibe because I really wasn't feeling him like that. <laughs> uh, he was like, "I hope all is well." Um, it just felt like a homey type of vibe, like a friendly vibe. And then he was like, "I hope you understand" or whatever. And then I texted him back, and I was like. Yeah, something definitely was off, but I definitely understand. That nigga never said nothing after that, which was fine. But I was like, well, at least I didn't have to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's an adult thing to do. And some people can't even yeah. do that. Just be like, look, it was a good time, but it really wasn't on that level. Like, it was more friendly, but, you know, you're cool, but it's not going to Well, I know what he thought. That far. And it didn't happen. <laughs> okay. So, you guys who pulls the car next? Who went? Oh, oh yeah, cool. he went. So my turn. Um, what's the most embarrassing thing you've ever done while drunk? Um, <laughs> oh, I know, I y'all. I long list. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you tried it. <laughs> um, the most embarrassing thing that I've done drunk was me and Jamila was in the car coming from um, what's that? It's like a, a Mediterranean restaurant. Um, Siva's. Mm-hmm. We got in the car. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't jump out. We got in the car. I'm trying to get out of the parking lot to go to Piedmont. This is not even embarrassing. It's I, I drove off the cu- like the curb. So I like flew over. I don't think. Was I drunk really? Terrible, man. You was drunk? Yes. We were on the sidewalk. We was on the sidewalk. And I was just like, fuck it. I was like, forget it. Like, I'm not just going straight. She couldn't go back because it was like. You know it's like the next street and the next street goes up a little bit it's like a baby hill so the parking lot was elevated like it was probably a couple feet up yes and all of a sudden she dropped it i don't know why she thought this was the exit she driving and we just like we're literally like at an angle like 
45 degrees is tip and it's like she definitely can't go back so we have to go forward so now the front of her car is on the it's, sidewalk of the street it's getting scraped and yeah yes. and the back of the car is like leaning up in a parking garage and yeah. it's like and the first thing i thought about was like my brother said you tearing that car <laughs> I, just, I literally was weak like and when i start laughing i can't really see so i literally was weak like i didn't know what to do i think that was the most embarrassing one I would say damaging my car. <laughs> oh, I, I don't really got nothing embarrassing, but um, okay. Oh wait, Ooh. oh you, it, all right, you gotta say it then, you know. I mean, okay, homecoming. I remember homecoming, but was that really embarrassing though? I mean, it wasn't embarrassing. That's like, but regular, you fell asleep like, like, like at like, all right? of it. But that's a regular. That's like regular. <laughs> drunk. So basically, homecoming. I was drunk as fuck. I had mad fun. That shit was fun <laughs> as hell. <laughs> and we went, and um, all my homies had got tickets to the um, the stroke, the step competition after. I, for whatever reason, I didn't get it. So um, we were struggling after the um, the tailgate. We were struggling trying to give me a ticket. We finally got one. And I was in there, and I just fell asleep at the uh, at the step show. That was it. That's so not I, really embarrassing. Like but that's that's outrageous though. Yeah. Falling <laughs> sleeping over there. I don't think I got embarrassing. Well, no, ma'am. Okay, well, y'all. I don't think any of y'all tell my story because I. Both of y'all got some embarrassing ones. Well, I, I'm curious. Somebody I, out of the club I sitting on this couch. Yours, the most embarrassing was um, old girl birthday. When oh. you was in my car and you was spilling all your tea. <laughs> wow. And I was like, girl. Oh, yeah, that's girl. Spilling tea while drunk to people is pretty. It's kind of embarrassing. Yeah, yeah like, it, it is. It was like, yeah. it was like you was boo hooing, though. Yeah, that was And rough. it was nothing to be like. <laughs> that was bad, y'all. I was in that, I was in that mud crying. I threw up on the side of the road. You threw up on my car door. We got to the gas station. I threw up again. Girl, I don't know what this girl ate. I don't but know what I ate either. It was it, calf. No, you didn't. It was that girl birthday. Y'all know what you're talking about. I remember. No, you went to her house. This was like she didn't see, see this. Oh shit, for real. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, anywho. She didn't see No, you told you know you told me you had JJ um. Yeah, I did have JJ's. You sent us to JJ's though. How do we end up at JJ's that night? Yeah, I threw up all that joint. I threw up in the gas I station. Know. I threw up on the side stank. of the road. I was crying. And then, child, they had to care. When we got to the dorm, they had to. Just no, up. and you know what else you did that was like unnecessary? What else I do? It was the Alpha Line coming in. Oh, and it, was, it was supposed to be secret, so they was getting in hella late, and she up here literally screaming their names. Like they trying to be incognito and everything. Well, they the ones who had to carry me to the dorm room anyway. Yeah, it was. And then I had to tell, I told them all my business, but we ain't gonna tell them that part that I told them. <laughs> <laughs> but the other stuff, yeah, just know everybody takes me the next day. Like, you know, I, you kind of seem like you're going through some stuff. Like, just let us know if you need anything. Cause I, I was, I was wilding, but I'm good y'all, I'm good. Okay, Jamel, come on. I honestly have. A lot of stories. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> it went more recent. <laughs> yeah, give us a recent one, man. Um, the one I was gonna tell was when Angelica carried me. Probably one of the most. You talking about you talking about hole in the wall? But first of all, we've carried you twice out. Okay, I've carried you twice out. Okay, we well, gotta, I try. We ain't gotta carry. Come every number, you know. And then another one that's recent that I thought about was when we was at the rooftop. What rooftop? At Ponce. Oh girl. <laughs> oh girl. Um, but I probably would say the top embarrassing one was probably the hole in the wall one mm -hmm. because that was in the public. Where it was very public, and it's like you know one of those things. This well, is you how telling us that the places, but like what actually? I would tell you, I'm getting to give you. Oh, my fault, my You in there? He needs the fucking yeah, thing. Now this is one of them instances, and this is how I always get fucked up. It's like I be good, and that one drink tips me over, and there's no going back. So it was one of them situations when I went to the bathroom and I was throwing up and throwing up and my friends were trying to tell me to get up. I was on the floor, like holding water. Y'all know holding water dirty. On the floor, on the floor, over the toilet, just sick. Then I'm standing on the toilet and then, <laughs> anyway, oh um, it was a lady in the bathroom who was a doctor or she was a nurse. She was, she was in nursing school or she was in medical school and she was like, I think she needs to go to the ER. <laughs> and, and I couldn't talk, but I just put 
put my finger up and shook it. No, that's all the strength that I could muster up. We knew she wasn't that bad that she needed to go to the doctor. We were, so they, they attempted to carry me out. I, I don't remember none of this. And then oh, I a, a guy that I know who went to school with us, he had to carry me out we to my carry car. You. And um, it was just embarrassing when I woke up and found out like that this guy had to carry me for me to get back. And then the next time I went to hole in the wall, the security remembered me. He was like, I ain't never seen nobody like that. Like, I ain't think he was going to make it. And I was just like, yo. Because we had to carry you out the back. We couldn't carry you out the front. Because yeah, they got real the police back. there. So, you know, you can't do public intoxication. And it was one of them things where before we was upstairs. What was that place called? It would have them dollar bottle drinks. We was at Moondogs. And I was like, I ain't feeling these drinks. Ooh, I had about four you know, they was full glasses. Cheap. And when I got to the like the last one, I drank it fast. So by the time I got to hold on one, I started drinking. Ooh. Oh, it wasn't a good look. But I really do appreciate all my friends who hold me up. <laughs> when my I, when stomach I wasn't strong enough. I went in there and I see what you said. I literally bad. was like, okay, I gotta go. Because I'm with you. I gotta get out of here. I know I can't lift her, so. But look, I'm in a different space now. Are you? And, <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> I'm in a different space now, and I do the best that I can. Yeah. Who pulling next up? Wait, is it back on me? Yeah. Yeah, because I... Oh, well, you know, I hate to say it, guys. It's a wrap. Yeah. I want to say, everybody that comes on Ain't No Filter, I always ask everybody um, to leave a piece of advice. It's been fun playing Spill It. And I want everybody just to leave a piece of advice. It could be something to inspire somebody else. It could be about life. It could be about in general. And who want to start it off? Um, I would like to just say, live your best life. Don't worry about what other has to, other people have to say. And just do you. Oh, not to uh, be cliche or sound cliche or anything, but I would just say, be your, uh, just be yourself. I think a lot of people, um, you know, live their life for other people on what you know, what they want other people to think about them, but you just gotta be yourself and live your truth and you know, everything that happened the way it's supposed to happen. I definitely agree with both those things y'all said and just along those lines, just if you wanna do something, do it. Like if it don't work out, try it again. If you, like Angelica, you said you opened up with somebody and they was trash, okay, that's fine. It didn't work out, do it again. Like if something don't work, try again. If you like something, try it. If you wanna go somewhere, go. Life short, live your life, do what you want to do. Don't worry about being embarrassed or what somebody else gonna say. Just do it. Child preaching. I think for me, um, <clears throat> as I've gotten into my older age, um, I feel like I've been struggling with this a lot. And I think that's just because I know I'm not where I feel like I should be in life. I've been comparing myself a lot. So my best advice is like comparison is really the what they said, joy. Yeah, comparison is really the thief of joy. And honestly, get off of social media sometimes, bruh. Like, I promise you. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. You gotta take. Yes. Uh, like, what do they call it? Away from it? A detox. Detox is away from social media. Because especially when you're not, like how you said, when you kind of down, mm -hmm. you, that's when everything starts. Mm -hmm. Keep hitting right. you. You just keep going on there and just keep getting poured onto you. So yeah. you definitely gotta de detox from social media. Because, like, don't get me wrong, I'd be happy for people. I'd be like, damn, what the fuck? Like, my ass been working hard too. Where my shit at? But like just you know stop comparing yourself and understand that your journey your destiny is going to be different And when you get your shit boy, I promise you it's gonna feel good. Oh my gosh But again, this was you're doing good in joke. I yeah. want to say that like you're literally on your shit You've always been on your stuff since college always grinding not talking about me, So don't worry about it girl. You, you're doing it the damn thing and thank you for having us today No, nah, thank y'all for coming out. So it's been such a great time on ain't no filter with this beautiful playing the game of spill it and we out we out we out